What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video here and I just uh, want to share with you guys what I got at the Burlington Apple Harvest Annual Flea Market and a couple yard sales that were on the way uh, and the GameStop pickup. Yeah, my friend, he wanted to uh, stop at GameStop there uh, in Kaiser when he went to take a battery back to Walmart and they picked up at the flea market uh, wasn't really thinking that they would have anything along these lines uh, but they did have some cool figures and a couple were on clearance some wrestling figures uh, I was happy to pick this one up it was on clearance for half off Seth Rollins series 52 and the regular price on it was $22.97 and as you can see it was 50% off $11.49 so that was a neat pickup and uh, they did have some retro uh, figures ones I'd never seen before besides the macho man they had a honky tonk man which was really cool and a Shawn Michaels and it was in like a, a packaging like a throwback packaging for like a, like a video game arcade thing so that was really neat thought about picking up the honky tonk man but I don't know so they were like I think it was like $25, $24, so I might wait till later. But I think they, they are exclusive, so it might be hard to find later on. But uh, On the way down, we stopped at a yard sale. Pretty neat yard sale. Had some video games and stuff, and uh, saw this case there. Opened it up, and it was a Pokemon, Pokemon White. Let's see if we pick that up here on the camera. Doesn't have the manual and it's just a basic case, but uh, they wanted five bucks. Talked them down to three. So pretty good buy, I think. Uh, then down to the on to the festival. Uh, picked up this AJ Lee figure. Get it out there for three bucks and I got a blu-ray and DVD combo of minions for 50 cents so I mean even if you don't have a lot to spend at the festival there's a lot of a lot of good buys and we went to this one stand they had a, just a bunch of different odds and ends and stuff and me and my girlfriend was looking at the games and uh, came across two. I think we got, he let us have both of these for five bucks. She wanted the, the deer hunting game. She likes to play those kind on uh, PlayStation 2. So we got that. Also picked up this one. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, one of my favorite games for PlayStation 2. So got both of those for five bucks total. And there was another seller, and I ended up getting this. He's like, everything I got here, you just make me an offer if you don't like the price, and we'll go from there. So he had three bucks on this, and I asked him, you know, would you take two? And he's like, yeah, sure. So got the a little, little dusty, a little dirty there. We can clean that up. But Got the 124 Earnhardt Service Plus die cast for $2. And then uh, we went on down to some more yard sales on, in the middle of Burlington there. And they come across a seller for a bunch of 164 scale cars like he had Hot Wheels, NASCAR, you name it. 
and he was telling me he had just bought this collection and and I was like well he's like I'll let you have both boxes I'll let you have both boxes for like 35 and I was like oh I don't know. it's two big boxes of NASCAR 164 scales I mean weren't real huge names like they weren't just a couple juniors which I got eventually got the juniors he's like if you don't want both boxes you, you can have them for like 50 cents a piece so I picked out four got this uh, early AC Delco I, I don't know if this was had a I think most of these did have like a clear window I don't know if it just got ripped off or what but for 50 cents I'll take it I'll put it on my computer desk anyways take it out of the box put it on my computer desk I think I did have these but for 50 cents I will not turn them down to get doubles the Dell Jr. 31 seconds car and we got the blue seconds car I guess that's how you pronounce that seconds seconds and then the AC Delco so that was not a bad purchase for two dollars in my book and then uh, the big purchase was that uh, the one stand we went to I was like seen this box of cards and started like looking through it and stuff and he's like you give me 25 bucks you can have it all and I was like how about 20 he's like I'll take it and there's just all kind of stuff in here from years past uh, let's see where to start there's a little deck of cards mini deck of cards here there's see Sam Bass max set still sealed uh, there's like a set of these photo cards it says superstars of NASCAR I'm not gonna open it but there's the mellow yellow Kyle Petty car there on the front we got a promo card this is pretty neat Alan Quick and Davey Allison the a AKDA prototype card out of action packed. Uh, this was really neat. Uh, I'm not sure if the Tiger Woods card is in, in these or, or if this is just a random pack or what. Do you, they're not numbered, but I, I know at one time the Tiger Woods card was, I think, pretty valuable out of these, the Masters cards. So there's one pack with Jack Nicholas on the front. Here's another pack that has, I mean, I guess just cover card and Jack Nicholas on the back. So I don't know if should open those or leave them sealed. There's some promo cards in here. Ernie Urban from Clear Ultra. There's a neat Alan Kowicki keychain still on the card. What else we got? A set of Tiger Woods, Tiger's Tales cards. One through 30. Mm. Here's a set of playing cards. 1960-1979 collector series. I don't think they're that old. And it says it's got a sticker from Paramount's King's Dominion. So that's kind of neat. Ah, oh, we just got tons and tons of cards in here. Got a set 51 card special edition 1993 of the Winston. Some pretty good drivers there. I'm gonna check this. That's still sealed. Uh, what else? Get these out there and go through these. There's a jumbo card of. Who is that? Don't know who that is. Not really all that up on uh, golf. Here's an open opened uh, box of playing cards, NASCAR playing cards or trivia cards. There it looks like some of them fell out. This was neat. Here's a picture of the AC Delco car. There. Uh, this is another trivia card. 
They got some more stacks of cards. More stacks. More stacks. More stacks. More stacks. There's another stack. Uh, another stack. We got two sets of uh, Motorsports, Ford Motorsports Max cards, 1991. Two sets of those. There's a checklist on the back. All the Ford drivers. Let's see if it'll focus. Through that plastic. So there's two of those sets. This was neat. Looks like a ticket from Daytona 2004 Speed Weeks. And we got a little. I thought these were like from the base set, but they're not numbered. So it's, I guess, it's some kind of little mini set. Back then, NASCAR put out a lot of different stuff like that. Here we got some more stacks cards. Here we got a Ricky Rudd gold signature. I don't think that's a 24 karat gold card. Yes. That's just the base. Or a parallel. We got this Ted Musgrave Emerald. Some more stacks. Another stack. Empty case. I don't know what that is. Some kind of little ball or something. Stacks. Stacks. There's one with Neil Bonnet. These are pretty neat. I didn't even. No, they made this is like the the max cards from I guess it was 1992, but they're like 3D. I don't know if you can catch that. They're, that that's pretty neat. And we got JD McDuffie, rest in peace. Who else we got? Bobby Hamilton, rest in peace. And we got Bill Elliott. That's pretty neat. And another Bill Elliott. They're like 3D guys. And another JD McDuffie. Another empty case. And we got a pack of Jeff Gordon cards, 20 special edition trading cards. An authentic Jeff Gordon autograph cards randomly inserted in Max 93. So should I open that or keep it sealed? Here's a pack of the Star or Haviland team. And a couple more packs. Got a set of race tunes, I think it's a set. Yeah. It's neat. It's different. And we got another stack of Bill Elliott looks like. Uh, we'll cut the video here and then we'll do a separate video of what's what I found in the stocks. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.